हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम द टॉपिक डिफ्रेंसिएशन अंडर द इंटीग्रल साइन राइट सो हियर वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द फेमस लाइबनेस रूल विच से हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट अ फंक्शन अंडर द इंटीग्रल साइन राइट so here uh, we have this problem that is uh, we are given the value of this integral uh, that is 0 to 1 x raised to 3 alpha minus 1 over log x dx is equal to log of p alpha plus q and we have to find the value of p plus q uh, whole square right so here uh, what we will do we'll try to solve this uh, uh, integral and then Uh, will uh, equate uh, that value of uh, this integral with this value and will compare and then we'll uh, get the value of p and q and uh, uh, accordingly we can find out the value of this expression right so let us start now uh, first of all let us take this uh, integral as i and we can take i is equal to Uh, 0 to 1 uh, x raised to 3 alpha minus 1 over log x and here uh, alpha is some constant right so now we need to find out the value of this uh, integral right so viewers if we look at this uh, integral or this integrand uh, we see that it is not easy or uh, it is not a straight forward task and uh, to find out the value of this uh, integral and uh, uh, here we'll uh, make use of uh, the concept of differentiation under the integral sign right so in differentiation under the integral sign uh, what we usually do uh, we differentiate uh, both sides right and here uh, we'll take alpha as the variable right so this alpha uh, which is in the power of uh, this x that is x raised to 3 alpha uh, will take alpha as the uh, variable right and treating alpha as the variable and x being the constant uh, will differentiate uh, both sides with respect to alpha right so what we will do will differentiate both sides with respect to alpha so we have di over Uh, d alpha right so here uh, we'll write d by d alpha and here we have the integral from 0 to 1 x raised to 3 alpha minus 1 uh, log x and dx right so now here uh, we see that uh, alpha is the uh, variable and x will be taken as uh, a constant right so Uh, we'll take uh, this uh, operator that is uh, the derivative operator inside this uh, integral sign so we have 0 to 1 here and d over d alpha and we have x raised to 3 alpha minus 1 over log x and uh, here we have dx right now see Uh, here we are treating alpha as variable and x as constant so what we will do a uh, log x will be taken as a uh, constant so we can take it outside so we have 1 over log x and uh, we have d uh, by d alpha d d alpha of uh, x raised to 3 alpha minus 1 and here we have dx right so now uh, we have to uh, differentiate x raised to 3 alpha with respect to alpha and uh, here 1 being the constant so the derivative of uh, 1 is 0 right so we have 1 over log x and uh, d d alpha of x raised to 3 alpha right okay so now here uh, we'll make use of uh, uh, an important result from uh, derivatives and the result says that uh, the derivative of a raised to x right the derivative of a raised to x is uh, a raised to x and log of a right so here 
uh, this is uh, alpha is the variable so here uh, the variable is in the power and x being the constant right so here uh, we'll make use of uh, this result over here so therefore uh, di over uh, d alpha can be written as 0 to 1 and we have 1 over log x and uh, the derivative of x raised to 3 alpha with respect to alpha is given by x raised to 3 alpha then we have log of x and by chain rule the derivative of 3 alpha is 3 right so now uh, log x and log x get cancelled right so now we have di over d alpha is equal to integral from 0 to 1 and we have 3 uh, x raised to uh, 3 alpha right here we'll have dx also so we have dx right so now 3 is the uh, constant so we can now write it as uh, 3 times integral from 0 to 1 x raised to 3 alpha dx and now we can uh, simply uh, find out uh, the integral of x raised to 3 alpha and this is uh, 3 and here we have x raised to 3 alpha plus 1 over 3 alpha plus 1 and the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 right so here we have used the result that is integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 where n is not equal to minus 1 right so now here if we uh, uh, substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so we have uh, uh, 3 over 3 alpha plus 1 and uh, now we have 1 raised to uh, 3 alpha plus 1 minus 0 right so first we have substituted x is equal to 1 and then we have taken x is equal to 0 right so now uh, we have uh, di over uh, d alpha is equal to uh, this term is 1 so we have 3 over uh, 3 alpha plus 1 right so viewers uh, here we see that uh, we have obtained a differential equation uh, in alpha right and now if we uh, solve this differential equation uh, we can easily find out the uh, value of this integral i right so now if we look at this uh, uh, differential equation uh, that is di over d alpha is equal to 3 over 3 alpha plus 1 uh, this is the variable uh, separable form right so here uh, we can separate the variables uh, to solve this uh, differential equation right so we can now write di is equal to uh, 3 uh, d alpha over uh, 3 alpha plus 1 and now integrating both sides we have integral of di and here we have 3 and integral of uh, d alpha over 3 alpha plus 1 along with the constant of integration right so now uh, here we have i the integral of di is i and here the integral of uh, 1 over 3 alpha plus 1 is 1 over 3 and log of 3 alpha plus 1 and here we have uh, c as the constant of integration right so here 3 and 3 get cancelled so we have i is equal to log uh, 3 alpha plus 1 plus c right so here uh, we have uh, obtained uh, the general value of uh, this integral i which is equal to log 3 alpha plus 1 plus c where c is the constant of integration right so viewers uh, here uh, we have to calculate the value of c uh, by some uh, initial conditions or boundary conditions right so let us see uh, how to find the value of this uh, uh, 
constant of integration. So now in order to find out the value of this constant of integration, uh, what we will do, uh, we'll take uh, alpha is equal to zero, right? So when alpha is equal to zero, let us see uh, the value of this integral i, right? So i is uh, uh, zero to one, and here we have uh, x raised to three alpha. So when alpha is zero, three times zero is zero. So we have x raised to zero minus one over log x and dx. And x raised to zero is one. So we have now zero to one, one minus one over log x uh, dx. And we see that one minus one is zero. So we have uh, i is equal to zero. Right? So we have the uh, boundary condition that uh, when alpha is zero, uh, the value of uh, i should also be zero. Right? So now this condition uh, would be used here uh, to find the value of this constant of integration. Right? So when alpha is zero, i is zero. So here we'll have zero. Then we have log of 3 times 0 plus 1 plus c and we have 0 is equal to log of 1 plus c and log of 1 is 0. So we have 0 is equal to 0 plus c and we see that the value of c is equal to 0. Right? So when we apply this boundary condition, uh, we see that the value of the constant of integration is uh, 0, right? So uh, here we'll take uh, c is equal to 0. So i is log of uh, 3 alpha plus 1 plus 0. So i is uh, log of uh, 3 alpha plus 1, right? So viewers, uh, we have obtained uh, the value of uh, this integral i as a log of uh, 3 alpha plus 1, right? And uh, if we uh, see this problem, we are given uh, the value of this integral i as a log of uh, p alpha plus q, right? Okay, so now if we compare uh, both these uh, uh, expressions, uh, we see that uh, the value of uh, uh, p is 3 and the value of q is equal to 1, right? So we have to find the value of p plus q whole square. So if we compare log 3 alpha plus 1 is equal uh, with uh, log of p alpha plus q, p is 3, q is 1, and uh, now uh, p plus q is uh, 3 plus 1, that is uh, 4, and uh, the value of p plus q square is 4 square that is 16 right so the value of p plus q uh, whole square is equal to uh, 16 right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we solve this problem and here uh, we have seen the importance and significance of uh, uh, the concept of uh, differentiation under the integral sign right so here we have uh, uh, obtained the value of this integral by uh, making use of differentiation under the integral sign and uh, uh, in doing so uh, we have obtained uh, this differential equation right and uh, solving this differential equation uh, with some uh, initial conditions we have obtained the value of uh, this integral i right so this is how uh, we have solved this problem.